Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one very powerful power query function that is table dot transform columns. Now table dot transform column can transform your column. It can change type. It can do some operations really powerful function. Let's look what it can do. So table dot transform column takes few arguments. One of them is table. Second one is list transform operation list option and default transformation is the third one and optional is the four is missing fields. So let me showcase you. This is the first argument. This is the function. The first argument is table. Second argument is the transform operation. Third argument is default transformation. And then there is one more optional argument. Now, after doing all these, it is going to return you a table. So finally, you give a table, you go to get back a table. A few examples has been given because this is a really interesting function. It can do a few more things for you. So few interesting examples has been given. Let's understand that. So the first example where we see here, there is a table which actually has been given to this one as an argument. The first argument table dot transform columns. And this one is saying it is number from text this is actually a text and we are saying it is number from text and text from number so this is text from simply has been used and you can see this was a number and we expecting the output which should get reversed and yes it is if you can see the output the number has become the text the text has become number and we had the data of that type it's not that you have a data of different type and you try to do the odd operations that might give you error but yes we have a type which can change from text to number number to text and it was able to successfully do that now the second argument is the missing column name let's say you given an argument on a column and that column is not available so here we are giving it in column x which is not available so we say null and we say missing so don't do any operation and we say mix missing field ignore okay that's what we are saying so it is not doing any operation and it is going to leave it as is now in the third one so in the second one was this and in the third one we say missing field dot use null so if the missing field is there we are saying ignore now in the third one we say use null and when we say use null we are getting a little bit different kind of results where we are getting a new column as a null Okay, now there is a fourth example. This is really interesting example here. What is happening here in this example is basically, and that is something we have to try out is basically you have this table. Now the first column is a text column. Second is a number column. On the second number column, first it is saying under, so it's using each from text from. Now each from text, what it does is it's loop in for all the column and text from we are using. And each when we use each we can use this underscore for the current row value. So what it's showing underscore plus one it means it's going to add the value and inside this one there is a numeric column B was a numeric initially and then we are changing it each text from means we are converting into text and then we are also specifying the data type here is text and then we are saying the number from text the other operation is number from text and we are able to get this output. Okay. So now what we need to do is we have to go ahead and try these things out on Power BI. So let's jump onto the Power BI and try these operations out in Power BI to go to Power Query. What we do is basically under the home tab, we have an option transform data and transform data which will take it to, which will take us to power query so let's go to power query and in power query we're going to do these operations so why don't we copy one of them and first try that out and then we will see more examples now to do that in the power query we have home new source and blank query we are using blank query because we have our own code to experiment with the data so we are using this blank query option under the home tab new source so let's use that and we got a new blank query below and we are going to rename it as transform column. 
okay now let's bring in some code so let's bring in the first code here first example right click advanced editor so first of all I want to see what table I am getting actually so I don't want to do all these operations before I do the operation let me understand what table I am getting so I remove all these tabs and we say done okay let's understand what we are getting so we are getting to any type of column okay the type is any there is no type which has been detected right now for these two columns you can see any type of columns and selected column it shows here the A and now we would like to transform these into text and numbers okay now basically this has been given as a format as a text now we give a comma here and enter and we would like to write down a new step and I give it as a name as underscore transform and whenever I am writing down my own step I give this and I don't need now this entire code because I already have a last step where I have a table and the table name is now source so I always going to take the last step table name from in such scenarios I'm going to take the last step table name now I got the table name so how our operations are this one so now we are performing table.transform we have taken a table and then we are giving a list of lists where we are giving the operations which need to be performed we are leaving all other operations right now we are not bothered about that and let's try them out and because we have changed the number of operations we have additional step we need to return this new step if you want to see the correct results so let's press done and now we should see the data type changes this has become the number column a has become the number column the b has become the the text column okay now so why don't we take that operation from the fourth operation which we have seen and first do that and then later jump onto that missing column uh, stuff so let's do one thing let's go to the uh, this one and this is the code I was talking about why don't we do this right now so let's go here now we will go into the code right click advanced editor and we say the B which is actually a number why don't we do this operation so what is the operation I want to do the B column each text from now it is assumption that it's going to take it as a number underscore one plus one so it should do a plus one and then convert it into type text and then let's remove this operation okay so now let's see does this works out for us so what we are saying here is basically so now the second portion has changed where we are writing down a function which is each now why why do we write each so when we write down a function where we actually want to give an argument now uh, and the argument we want to let's say add one now they see previously we were only doing from text that's fine now now we I want to give an argument and I want to do some operation so I need an each and which each is kind of a loop where we saying for each row you do this operation text from and do the add the value one so that's where we need so whenever you have more than one argument or you want to do something additional on that are by just by giving the default argument you have to use this so that's how it is going to work out and then third thing we have say a type text and we say oh, done now you say it has become the type text but before that it has added a number now this is again one more operation which is there now can can we do such kind of a stuff there also can we add one while converting it into a number so the intention here is basically now the ch thing here is basically uh, let's do one thing here first of all write down each and here let's because it's it was not a number so I write down each this one and say type equal to let's say int or we can say number int 64 is another one number let's see does it work out first of all so this one is working okay so again we can see the type and we can actually go to the previous step first step and can see now this is working now after it becomes a number I can add one isn't it plus one or plus two okay now you can see now what I have done this time is basically if you see here is I have not done the operation in the same sequence what I have done is first I converted this into a number and then I have added two 
and then I say finally my data type is this. So in this manner we can do and now look at that we have done two different operations on the column. So you are doing two different operation on two columns at the same type and also changing type how powerful this function is that you are doing multiple operations and you're still able to manage that. And now why don't we add the third operation? Comma. We're going to give error. Let's go here. Advanced editor. I pressed a tab and seems like it doesn't worked well with that. Cancel. Let's remove this. Now let's open advanced editor. Why don't we add the X column here? Isn't it? So what was our definition X? And we say what we were saying text dot from that's what we wanted. And we say done. So it's not going to find out the X column. So what was the th thing we are supposed to do? So we used to say null and we were saying missing let's try out these two operations so now after we given this argument we can say null missing use null let's try this out let's say does can this help us out we press and now we get the missing now we use null or ignore we can choose can choose ignore so now we have combined all those things in one place so that you know we can better understand how these things works out so now you see we have a powerful function which can change type while changing type it can do operations and these operations could be really complex because we have this each now once we have the each we can do really complex operations and then we can we may miss out certain columns naming issues could be there or they can renamed later on and we don't want our table to fall flat when or the query to fall flat when this rename happens so we can use this you know missing field ignore or missing field null so that these things keep on working even when something get changed so why don't you go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.